Hello, my name is Nathan Crawford, uh, Section 1 uh, in Game Strategies and Motivation. Uh, today I'll be talking about uh, what uh, I've learned uh, during my week one. Um, a little bit of personal experience. I am not necessarily the biggest gamer in the world. I, I really never have been. Um, I never really had a game system uh, while I was growing up. I would play at uh, my friends' homes mostly when <laughs> when I had the chance, um, but so you know this is kind of a new experience for me um, as far as the gaming is concerned, uh, and I am enjoying myself. That's you know, that's that is for sure. Um, this week uh, we uh, got a chance to partake in some Dungeons and Dragons, uh, some role playing. Uh, for me, the hardest thing about the role playing is actually getting into a character. I guess when you become more uh, comfortable uh, with the um, your group members uh, and, and the actual game itself, uh, for me, just the the thought of getting started was very hard uh, and very nerve wracking, and you know, I found myself. Um, thinking I definitely wasn't prepared uh, prior to going into the gaming experience uh, just because uh, I you know, had never played Dungeons and Dragons. I kind of felt like I didn't have the skills needed. I felt like I needed to have, um, uh, I was, I felt like I needed to have a sheet of spells and, and I, I just didn't know what, to, what I was getting into going into it. Uh, but the experience itself was uh, was awesome. I mean, it was uh, a great experience uh, getting to uh, communicate and, and work uh, with the group members uh, and have a common task um, and just being able to um, uh, create uh, an alternative reality uh, for a brief moment in time um, was really a worthwhile experience. Uh, how I use this in my classroom? Well, that for me, that's that's been the hardest thing is is taking this information that I get and taking it back into my classroom. I do do know that one thing uh, that I've got from the role playing aspect and, and from the readings is that um, it does not it, it does not have to be boring uh, to be educational. Uh, so I've kind of come up with some ideas of how to use uh, a role-playing scenario uh, with my digital, digital filmmaking kids and with my foundations uh, of arts uh, kids. Um, and uh, I think just in the beginning aspects of those lessons, uh, I think the students are really going to uh, see a big difference in the classroom experience uh, and I, I'm pretty sure uh, that more students will um, participate uh, in the experience than than those that would have uh, just uh, from a traditional lecture and uh, a traditional demonstration so uh, we're going to try that you know I've got some ideas for the foundations class as far as um, the students have to uh, become a team of agents who are trying to, um, uh, if they have a client who wants some work to be placed in a museum um, uh, as part of a permanent collection, so they have to convince uh, the curator uh, that the work that they are presenting for their, uh, for their client is worthy, and they have to use the uh, elements and principles of design. Uh, they have to use those uh, those vocabulary terms uh, in their meeting with the curator and the board of directors, which would be everyone else in the class. Uh, they have to convince those other students who will be the board of directors and the curator, which would be me. Uh, they have to convince us that the work is worthy based on the elements and principles of design. So overall, 
uh, great week one, uh, great fun uh, in Dungeons and Dragons, uh, and definitely have some ideas uh, flowing uh, for the classroom. Thanks a lot.